Well, ain't it pretty up here? Also, why are people up here if there's a gate connecting the two? Whoa! Everything is so white! I can hardly see! Wait, is... is this... snow? Are you telling me you've never seen snow before, Butterfly? That's such a shame. Well, since you just kind of said it, wouldn't it be bad for a butterfly to see snow since... Bugs can't really survive in, uh, <laughs> in cold climates like this so much. I mean, look at outside for me. It's There's mosquitoes outside during the summer, but during once it gets cold out, it's like really good to go outside because no mosquitoes are outside. <laughs> I've heard s I've heard so much about it. I can't believe I'm finally getting the chance to see it. It's beautiful, but it's so cold cold you're feeling all frozen inside right don't worry it makes the hot chocolate afterward taste so good i think the cabin is just up ahead let's see if slimy old hughes is up there quickly luke so how did he shut the door from behind him <laughs> then again then again, how does uh, Darunia close the door behind him in the fire temple? <laughs> okay. It's, it's Nintendo logic. Or just video game logic in general. Now, what are you? Are you a bounty per? You're a bounty clerk too. Good to know. Good to know. What are you? A sack of silver? Oh, you can sell those, right. Wait a moment. Do you hear that? It's Hughes! He's talking to those soldiers! I can't believe Father gave him permission to use the cabin. He knows it's a sentimental place for me. And now Hughes is using it as a base of operations for his diabolical little scheme. Can you hear what he's talking about? I can't quite make it out. Violent! Beast, deadly fangs, makes a ferocious nap dragon, kill, and be sure to smile. Sir, sir. Unless they came here searching for some sort of mumbling treasure, this isn't good. What should we do? No point in sneaking around. Let's confront Hughes. Oh, you want to face our fr problems head front or head forward. Okay, that's fine by me. Let me just save. Wow, I'm, I'm just 23 experience points away from leveling up. <laughs> Why can't we go down the well? Daylight is too bright for mole eyes, but I am very happy to have a customer. It has been quite a while. I can sell you all sorts of mining goods. It would be my pleasure to, as a mole to serve you. Well, you have quite the, uh... Jeez, man. Wow, you can even buy mining. Haha. <laughs> cool. Okay. Mining. Short. Why? Okay. Power aid? Hmm. It's expensive, though, that's for sure. 1200 each? Maybe back, maybe, maybe. First, we shall render the beast unconscious using my newly developed murmur spray. Did you really call it a murmur spray? Don't you dare lay a hand on that dragon, Hughes! 
Princess Laura! Why am I not? Oh, why am I only mildly surprised, but majorly annoyed? Don't you patronize me, Hughes. What do you plan on doing with the Nap Dragon? Is this some sort of plot to abs absurd my father's throne? Princess Laura, I can assure you that you need not bother yourself. Usurp? <laughs> What's so funny, Hughes? You didn't think someone would catch on to your plan? You want the power of the dragon. Why else would you be so concerned with it all of a sudden? Oh, princess! <laughs> when you use so big words like usurp, it's just so... <laughs> Confess your nefarious mel machini machinations, Hughes. Jeez, man. <laughs> nefarious oh, machinations. That's that's very good, princess. <laughs> oh, my! You must forgive me. I just about left up along there. <laughs> Enough of your insults, Hughes! Talk! Princess, you know I have been in the service of your father for quite some time now. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> you have the wrong idea. We're here to help the Nap Dragon, not make it some... <laughs> nefarious usurping machination. Help it? What do you mean? Why would you- why would the Napdragon need help from you? Stop trying to confuse me, Hughes. Princess, it's the truth! We're here to calm the Napdragon with a sedative. Nonsense! I heard Hughes call it a ferocious beast. I heard him say kill! Yes, Professor Hughes was very clear that the dragon shouldn't be harmed. The effort may kill you, but the Nap Dragon is not to be harmed. And we replied, yes sir, yes sir. <laughs> Actually, I may have mumbled that last part, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I suppose this is why Father locked me inside my own bedroom. He knew I would try to stop you from getting to the Nap Dragon, Hughes. Yes, unfortunately, he wasn't very fond of my new... Princess Leash? What? How could you suggest something like that? Desperate times call for desperate measures, Princess. I can't have any meddling with my work. Just your being here jeopardizes our mission. Sheesh. Overly self-important much? I can see that you still have no understanding of this, Princess. Your father locked you up to protect you. It was for your own good. And now you have put yourself in harm's way. What are you talking about? If you hadn't been under watch by some clearly incompetent gods, you would have run straight into the jaws of the Nap Dragon's fury. Wait, so the rumors? They're true? They are not rumors, and yes, they are true. A doomstone has crashed into Mount Snow Peak. Oh dear, no. We are investigating the matter, but it appears these stones are now creating chaotic dangers. Animals filled with the doomstone's energy are acting increasingly aggressive. Now. Can you imagine the energy of a doomstone and adding a dragon's unbridled wrath into it? No, of course not. Because all you see is cute, sleepy beasts with eyelids at half mast. Wow, what a jackass. <laughs> he is rather adorable, I must say. Oh, come on, Laura. Princess. We are all aware of your fondness for the Nap Dragon, but you must be aware of reality. You must accept the truth of what we are seeing happen over Reveria 
right now! Your father took precautions to keep you safe! By locking me in my chamber. It looks like we were on the wrong stick of... Wrong stick of assumption. Yeah, close enough. We're seeing a massive increase of in Doomstones! This must be related to the Lumin Lunaris Phenomenon. The Lunaris Phenomenon? Grandpa said something similar earlier. What is happening with Lunaris? Professor Hughes! We've got trouble! The Nap Dragon is on a rampage! We can't hold on to him! Blast! See our delay your... See the delay your... The delay your interference has caused us! Oh no! Princess! Stop! Come back! I feel so sorry for her father. He's a good man. You two, why don't you make yourselves useful and stop her before she gets fried to a royal crisp? You know, I tried to fight one, like, at the beginning of the session and I freaking almost died. <laughs> oh, come on, Luke. We've got to stop this Pris Laura. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we're gonna keep this music going too. Okay. The boss, the big boss battle music. Okay. Let's go. Well, that's cute. Run in the snow. You make that noise. Run in the ice, and you make. A jingle bell noise. Okay. Well, at least I can run! <laughs> Had a good distance, too. Laura, don't move! Easy now. Easy. Just calm down. Calm. Yeah! Ah! Laura, move away from the dragon, please! Whoa! <laughs> He's... B -b -b big Yeah! Put your weapons away! Did you notice the nap dragon, Luke? It doesn't look like the shadow the way that Chompy was... When the Doomstone's energy took him over! I don't think this is the Doomstone's doing. What's going on then? Yeah. Yelza! Yikes! I think I wet my armor. Napdragon, stop it! Princess, be careful! Who said that? Oh, right, Eric. King, well. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Father! King Eric! Laura, step away from the nap dragon this instant. Leave this to me. No, father, it's too dangerous. Something is wrong. This snapdragon may be furious and out of control, but I can still make its cower before me. Though small in stature, I command a fearsome presence, and that is how one truly tames a beast. Now, Captain Mustang, if you would hand me my loot! Father, how did you find us up here? Your father felt guilty for locking you up, so he went to your room with an apple pie as a peace offering. Apple pie? Oh, Jesus. I... The, the, are all the... Are all the freaking paladins... Uh. Captain Mustache, control your men. Why is he called Captain? <laughs> well, if you say so. Yes, sir. You men. Be controlled! I do owe you all my thanks. You have served bravely while cowering in fear. That is not an easy task. 
You protected my daughter. Thank you for that. Laura, does this not take you back to one of our many adventures? You always had a greater love for the wild, for wild beasts such as this one. Father, I'm sorry I've disobeyed you. No, time for that. No time for that. Napdragon, I am your king. I am not certain you remember me. It has been quite some time since you look, you and I last locked horns. But I have returned with authority in my voice, and I command you to calm thee down! Please! Wait, did you see that? I'm a little busy right now, butterfly. The napdragon is trying to communicate. Yes! See? It's not attacking! It's trying to tell us something! But... what? Are you certain of that? What if it's trying to say it's hungry and wants to eat the king? Nest? What nest? Your... babies are there? No. You want... They were taken from your nest? How can you understand it? Wait! Did you say... Nest? There is one at the highest point of Mount Snow Peak! It seems that whatever is happening up there is quickly agitating the Napdragon. Let's investigate! Investigate! <laughs> quickly! I thought we were at the highest point. Hardly. This is just a high, as high as I ever let you climb. The nap dragon is listening to you, father. You stay here. We'll investigate the nest. Luke, butterfly, let's go. Very well, my dear. Quickly, be brave and be careful. Nap dragon, look deeply into my eyes. You are getting very... My, you have really, you really have beautiful eyes. Yeah. That ended just like that. Yes, this is the highest point. Right here. It's not like there's another path or anything. <laughs> um, I'm guessing go left, but what the heck's this way? What's this way? And we're going in the night, and... Can I buy something from you? Well, we're supposed to be doing something completely different. Ooh. There we go. No. What's here? Oh, another sack of silver that I can sell. Which, by the way, since we're at a traveling merchant... Or seller. I like calling them merchants, quite honestly. Um... Where's that... I know it's here. I just forget, like, where in the inventory. There it is, see? A uh, sack full of silver coins. It looks worth selling. There we go. Nope, we're good. Let's go. Now, let's see. Oh, I see where it is on the map. Let me guess. The... The, uh... The heck? Platinum deposit? Wow. <laughs> Um, so, I'm guessing the Napdragon's babies are, uh, affected by the Doomstone. It's kind of my guess, but, yeah. Should be a little obvious, actually. Higher, higher, higher! Oh, another sack of silver! Uh... 
Why is there... Why is there, uh, rope here? The Nap Dragon's mest nest must be down there. I remember this. I came up here once when my father wasn't looking. Now I'm scared to go down there. But I don't think fear is going to help us now. Let's... Well, of course not. <laughs> it's gonna actually screw us over more so, if anything. Let's stay on our guard, okay? Alright. What's going on down here? Look! It's a tombstone! The baby dragons! Well, that's unfortunate indeed. The tombstone has taken them over, too! The nap dragon was worried sick about her babies! Oh, those poor things. And that's not good. Let's not get too sappy now. Luke, there's only one thing we must do. Be careful. Unless the butterfly decides to pick up archery, we're going to be outnumbered here. Yeah, but I, uh... Well, the funny thing is that I'm an archer and a... Oh. <laughs> There we go. I leveled up for defeating a gemstone. <laughs> there we go. Incoming! Oh, hi! Your babies are back to normal, Nap Dragon. Are we sure that's normal for them? I'd say so. Can't you tell what a purring nap dragon sounds like? Uh, no. It seems you've gotten to the root of the problem by destroying a tombstone. Once again! That's right, Hughes. The nap dragon seems to be back to its docile self. We must find out why these tombstones are causing this frenzy inside the animals of Reveria. Hughes, I... I'm sorry, I had the wrong idea earlier. My accusations were baseless and unwarranted. Baseless and... <laughs> Pay no mind, princess. I think I owe you an apology as well. For what? This entire situation could have been much worse had you not been here to talk to the Nap Dragon. I was mistaken to have suggested you to be locked up and leashed. I still can't believe you had the nerve, Hughes. I was joking! <laughs> sort of, I mean... <laughs> yes, I, I apologize. Ah, Hughes. I'm glad to see you can finally admit what a poor sense of humor you truly have. <laughs> Burn. Well, it looks like all has ended well here, with one very happy nap dragon. And it seems as though my daughter has found herself some very worthy adventuring allies. Luke, Butterfly, you have a king's gratitude. Mine. Not just any king's. My gratitude. Oh, so you're not gonna be a snob... a snob anymore? <laughs> I should have just said, you have my gratitude. Napdragon, did you have something to say? Oh yes, of course. Why, that's very kind of you. I do love hummus. The Napdragon says thank you, Luke. Oh. Really? Hmm. I believe the Nap Dragon said something about guarding a treasure, and now it is time to share that with Reveria. Did you catch that? Catch that butterfly? Oh, that's a huge chest. <laughs> Ahem. Pardon me for interrupting, but I believe the dragon may be referring to that chest over there. 
open the treasure chest as the objective? Why, I don't, don't mind if I do! <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful. But what is it? Uh, anytime I think of cogs, I think of something horrible, horrible, horrible about to happen. Last time I remember cogs, I remember Pokemon. Mystery Dungeon, the, uh, the one for the DS. Not, not, not the gateway, but the one before that. Like the cogs of time or whatever. Ah, oh, that could only be the inelegantly named... Goddess Cog! It was a gift to Reveria from the Goddess herself! I never thought I'd actually see it in person, though. So it's true! The Napdragon was entrusted with the task of guarding this sacred treasure! It was only to be given to the most worthy of all adventurers! It appears you two occupy some most rare air! Who said that? Notice the butterfly's not there anymore? <laughs> oh, king of the mountain, there is not much time. King of the mountain? That is how the king of Castelle was addressed in the olden days. Oh, you mean me? <sighs> yes, noble king Eric, I mean you. Your land, Reveria is facing certain destruction. Destruction? What are you talking about? We have crops, horses, lots of buildings. We're quite good, actually. We're living quite prosperous, actually. <laughs> Bring word from another world. From Lunaris. Extraordinary. The sky, it is falling. In a very real way. We are doing what we can to help you, but there is a limit to our powers. Okay, floating female apparition above the mountain chasm, permit me a question. If you must. I must! If Reveria is in danger because the sky is falling, what can we possibly do about it? The people must unite. Their wishes must be as one. The people? All the people of Reveria. What you mean? Even from people from other lands? Yes. Oh, come on! Those people are savages! They'll never unite with us! You are the key, Luke. Why do I feel like I've heard that from a game before, too? <laughs> I knew you were special! The Nap Dragon has deemed you worthy of receiving a treasure from the Goddess. This treasure is a key. And only you alone are worthy enough to utilize this key. You are our greatest hope, for sure. I'm sorry, but did you just say... For sure? Uh, I have spoken, and now I must be off. May fortune smile upon you all, and, uh, y yeah, may it, may it smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye! <laughs> hey, doesn't that sparkle look familiar? Weird. Where's the butterfly? I proclaim that to be the strangest thing that has ever happened to me. Laura, please don't tell your mother. <laughs> <laughs> that was indeed very strange indeed. But if her words are to believe, be believed, your highness, then perhaps the doomstones are falling across all of Reveria. Yes, I think that may be the case. It has long troubled me that our bonds of friendship with neighboring Port Puerto have been severed. 
Oh, those pirates can't settle their own business, much less deal with someone from another land. This may be just the excuse I've been waiting for, to reach out to them, and to repair our relations. And our bridge. <laughs> Hughes, I want you to tell ev me everything you can find about the Goddess Cog. With our new friend's permission, of course. Yes, my king! Captain Mustang, I want the patrols surrounding Castelle doubled! I'll muster up the manpower, your grace! Laura, I apologize for hurting your feelings and holding you prisoner in your own room. No, father. It is I who I should... It is I who should apologize. I know you were the o only trying to keep me safe. I'm glad to you'd see it my way. Apology accepted. Laura, in the past, I was always able to quickly jump in if you were ever in any changer. But you're older now, and it's difficult for me to realize I must let you protect yourself at times. I should have expressed this to you earlier, rather than acting like a child myself. Because you do look like one. <laughs> you are grown up now, with good friends, and I realize I cannot treat you like a child forever. Yeah, because whenever you treated her like a child, you kind of were acting like a child yourself for the first couple hours of this game. Like, let me just put it that way. Don't tell your mother that, either. <laughs> I will no longer confine you to the castle. Really? Not that it seems to have stopped you anyway. <laughs> I love you very much, Laura. And I want you to know I would never let do anything to hurt you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you, Daddy. <coughs> uh, Laura, please, at least in front of others, call me King Daddy. <laughs> Luke, Butterfly, I am eternally indebted to you both. Thank you. Wait, did Butterfly leave? Well, regardless, I am pleased Laura has met good friends she can trust on her adventures. Perhaps you could be my companions in the future if I ever decide to sneak out of the castle? <laughs> like, uh, father like daughter? <laughs> Your Majesty, please, don't give them any ideas! <laughs> Captain Mustang, you worry too much! <laughs> kidding! Just kidding! Ah, yes, uh, quite funny. <laughs> Gallows humor, your mad grace. <laughs> Thanks again for everything, Luke. This was fun, exciting, dangerous. This adventure had it all! Since we're already up here, I think I'm going to explore Mount Sm Snow Peak a bit more. I think it's time we return to the castle, Laura. What? Already? But we just got here! It's freaking midnight in the game. More than likely. <laughs> Your mother was me worried sick. Let's go back, and we can plan out your next adventure. Dad, you can't plan out adventures. They have to just happen. That's what makes them adventures! I don't know, Princess. Lately I've been on quite a few adventures that took a bit of planning. Butterfly, where have you been? You missed out on all the action. Oh, sorry. I was just, uh, getting some fresh air. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Flying around and stuff. <laughs> it wasn't like I was flying over a chasm or anything, either. <laughs> yes. The mountain air is a good is good for the soul, and the wings, I uh, would assume. Butterfly, have I ever told you how lovely the dulcet tones of your voice are? Actually, so familiar. Huh. Somehow. Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, 
thanks, your majesty! That's very kind of you, uh, uh, so, should we get going? Yeah, um, let's not talk about that. Everything's said here, Luke? Now that the Nap Dragon is happy, let's get head back home. I want to tell Pam all about our adventure. I'll head back to the castle with Father. He's not used to this kind of excitement anymore. <laughs> you just called your father that looks like a child old. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Hand it over Goddess Cog. Aw, but I like having a priceless relic. <laughs> Laura left your party too. And that's that. Can I, like, attack the... <laughs> it would be funny if I could attack it with Hughes right here. A diligent effort, Luke. But remember, you're only as good as your last. Anyone else here? Just the soldier. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's, uh... Head out, and this has gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. It's actually closer to go to the guild office than it is to go to the freaking, uh... <laughs> go to my house, because my house is not there anymore. Alright, Pam. Welcome back, dears! And might I ask you where I have... Where you all have been all this time? Why should you know? We don't live here anymore. We were all the way on top of Mount Snow Peak. It was all snowy and we had to get this key and then we found the Goddess Cog. It was amazing! And then the Nap Dragon said thank you. Yawn. <laughs> oh my, I think you need a rest, Butterfly. You're so tired, you're not making any sense. Nah, it's just a little... Well, maybe a snooze. Can you fly while sleeping? <laughs> Enough! Off to bed with you! You can't tell me what to do! I don't live here anymore! <laughs> you can't tell me that! I ain't exhausted, it's only 1.36 in the morning. <laughs> but before you go, I have something to give you! I can't believe it nearly slipped my mind. It really is, um, quite the present, I must say. It's from the king himself. You two really are making quite the name for yourselves with the royal family. Well, <laughs> price keeps getting higher and higher. Pretty soon you're gonna give me like 10,000 and then 100,000 and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Enjoy your rest. All right, and so ends the chapter. <laughs> I get 300 experience, too. So... Something's off here, mateys. The waves are talking, and I don't like what they're saying. Lady Olivia! <sighs> Can't a pirate get a few quiet minutes to commune with the sea? They're out of control. We can't hold them off. Arr. This certainly does not bode well. I'll be right there. That's more of a southern pirate voice. I don't know how to do a freaking... I've never heard of woman pirate, really. Well, actually, no, I take that back a little bit. <laughs> I feel so conflicted. What's the matter, my dear? Well, I don't know who's talking. Posture is very important. Is this the king talking to the princess? I feel like I may... Ah. Uh... I feel like I may have manipulated my friends today. Oh, really? How so? I was just trying... Oh, it was the queen, I think. I don't know who's actually talking to her, but still. I was just trying to help. It's so hard to figure out how much I'm supposed to get involved with everything here. 
Well, I'm not sure what you're saying, dear, but as long as you didn't get hurt, di didn't get anyone hurt, I'm sure it's fine. You really think so? I do, and it's okay to feel uncertain about things. When the time is right, you'll know what to do. Just trust yourself. Trust myself? I'll remember that. Thank you. Cool. Um, yeah. And I think that's gonna be it for this time. Or, finally, oh my god, listen to the king, the king's lovely speech. And yeah, Port Puerto is now open. That is nice to, to see, actually. Okay, so 140 remain. Oh, level up. I forgot to level up for the entire time. But it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Lucky. Alright. So... I'm tired. And I still gotta record a little bit more. Not, well, I might record one more of this. I don't know yet. Yeah, maybe I will record one more of this. Actually, no, never mind. I, I take that back only because I should really try to get those other things done before I start recording again because my voice is tired. Very tired. <laughs> Probably going to take an hour break before I do the other thing that I'm going to record tonight. So yeah, with that, hope you all enjoyed. This was a really long video, but I probably split this up into three parts. That's how big it was. And yeah, have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.